Hey everyone, I'm the Lone Wolf, and welcome to Doctor Who The Edge of Time. Now, I've been wanting to do this one on the channel for a while, and so I decided to do it for the 100th anniversary of the BBC. And if all goes to plan, you should be seeing this on the 18th of October, I believe. So, without further ado, I think we should begin. Now, I'm a real big Doctor Who fan. Alright, so we're in a laundry. So... What do we do? Okay, I'm waiting on you. Why would I freak out? Those creatures are high forms. Vicious amphibians, sometimes used as guards by races like the Stenza and Zygons. What's all this black goo? Alright, what do we do? What? Don't what? <sighs> you know, this always happens. Well, there's your problem. You're missing a fuse. And it's right here, so you're just lazy. Take 
check the photo frame and see if there's anything written on the back of it. Oh, that's got to be a part of it. 14, ace! But you still need another two-digit number, so keep looking. And get your skates on, because the Hydrox are almost done incubating. And trust me, you do not want to be around when they break free. Take the photo frame and see if there's anything written. Get in there! That'll be it. Try to open the safe using the two sets of numbers you found. So what, 1483? That should be easy to do. Oh, I love my sonic screwdriver, so don't lose it. Actually, I'll show you a nifty little trick to keep it safe when you're not using it. Super handy that. Grab the sonic then. Word of warning, the Hydrox are on the verge of breaking out, so you better get a move on. You need to unlock the door using the Sonic. Alright. Sorry to interrupt. I should probably lock that. Can I lock it? Put this old radio on the workbench. I can get through to you easier if it's out in the open. Door won't hold the hydrox belong. We've got to get you out of there as fast as we can. Alright, so, just tell me the plan. You yep. You're gonna need three things. First, the radio I'm speaking to you through. We can take that one off. You'll also need a power source, some sort of battery, and something to transmit a signal. A satellite dish would do. Alright. So power battery and a satellite dish. Easy enough. Just point. <laughs> I'm a genius. Anything else around here? No. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right.
I splice you got here. We should have time to give you a guided tour, but we're up against it. We can't get distracted. So, here's the skinny. Do people still say here's the skinny? What actually is the skinny? Never understood it, to be honest with you. I mean, sorry, easily distracted. Big picture, I'm marooned at the end of time and space. I have to cobble together a vortex manipulator to get back to where I should be. That way, I can deal with the reality virus and whoever created it. I need three pieces of Zyton to power the manipulator through the time vortex. Getting the Zyton is where you come in. And if you want a reminder of what's at stake, take a look behind you. What? That's what's at stake. Your world and countless others. So you've got to find those three pieces of Zyton. And let's get one thing absolutely straight. One very important thing. We are so calling them time crystals from now on because that sounds way cooler. The hologram's going to be patchy from now on. I'm guessing it's the reality virus messing with the visuals. Okay, get back to the console and I'll tell you what needs to be done. The TARDIS has switched to autopilot mode. Don't take it personally, just doesn't know you yet. But there's some stuff autopilot doesn't cover. You have to locate the first time crystal yourself. That panel you can see is your interface with the TARDIS. Step up to it and I'll guide you through what you need to do. I can flick all these switches, that's cool. Where's my hand? <laughs> oh, keep that closed. <laughs> I don't know what sort of gas that was. It's in my lungs! Alright, what are we doing? Okay, as a wise man once Ooh. said, Ooh, custard cream, nice. That one, that one, and it's that one. I'll grab the. We need to find out where and when the first time crystal is. This should help locate it. Yes. Yes, I, I understand all of this. I'm not just a normal person. I'm I'm a time traveler. I didn't, I didn't grab that one, I grabbed this one, right. Grab that one. Ah. No. Grab it. Grab it, grab the... What? Ah. Oh, you're getting good at this. Not quite as fast as my PB, but you're knocking at the door. Well... You're approaching the porch. Uh, Driving. Uh, that, one, that one, that one, that one, that one. It's not, not picking up where I'm actually pointing. Got that one. That one. That one. That one. And that one. I've already forgotten. <laughs> this one. Uh, nope. <laughs> right. Give it another shot. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. Okay. Can I grab it. Wow. and all the time glitches, nothing is stable. Remember, get that first time crystal back to the TARDIS. Without it, I'll be trapped forever and the universe is toast. We can't have that now, can we? You can do this. And it's 
actually bigger on the inside. Right. I can walk in well, only so far, but then I can do the loop around. Doors close on its own. Clever box. Very clever blue box. Hello. I couldn't wait to see you again. Look, I've got to be quick because there's a time glitch right imminent. So of course. Listen. You're on Lucia Minor. Everyone thinks everything is okay, but it's not. The glitch that's about to happen will change everything. The Slicesters will have invaded this place. The Warpen, the Tazmas. But you can't help. You have to help. In case you were ever going to get around to asking, we were just talking, weren't we? Some free advice. I'd get the hell out of there, like too sweet. Because the Tasmas are hungry tonight. The what? Ah, lovely. This should be fun. Are these like meant to be like trail cameras or sensors or all right that was uncalled for what's that Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you tried to scare me, that won't happen. I'm unscarable. That's me, Mr. Mr. Unscarable. Oh, well, we got some drawings. Yeah, that I don't, I don't know what that's meant to mean, but triangle, and we got diamond. Oh. Where did it go? check out this way. Oh, that's that's a straight drop there. Hello. Why do they walk so weird? But like do they have knee pains and they can't walk properly? Back pain, something like that. Ah. Oh, I see. All right, time for my powers of deduction. We have a symbol there of that and that. The same one that was in the cave. So, my deduction powers, I deduce that's the right word. These plugs look like they can be moved. Yeah, I gathered that. I'm gonna do that, and that, but not those. Alright. And this one hat wants a 
a blue and there a red the plugs need to be placed in the right sockets a red where the blue was that blue goes there once a green there and another green ah uh, uh, wait red there green there Thank you. I don't think I've ever been complimented and insulted at the same time. Hello. And what are you supposed to be? Well, that was easy. I must be a technician then. I can work technical stuff. Oh, hi. And to get in your hands on that time crystal. Hi. <laughs> Bye. Hope to never see you again. And this is a weird planet. Oh, that's bright. Oh, that was very bright. My eyes. I think I call blind. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh. It's dark in here. Can I have some light, please? Thank you. We're moving. But where? Can I get some service, please? Hello? Welcome to the SS Lucia Minor, the largest starship in N space. Oh. Oh. For 2,000 environments. Right. For your enjoyment. So that's... This flight is now sponsored by the friendly assassins of Pulgarius 5. So was that and not real up there? Is mildly irritating, or has the... God, stop pushing buttons. Sorry. Sorry. What was that? Have a nice day. Oh. Oh, I can... I can teleport, can't I? Ah. Ah, I can teleport. Well, it's not as fun as walking around, is it? No. No, I can't climb those stairs. I don't think there's much exploration in this. Why is there no gravity, but I'm not floating around? I remember this place. Me and Joey used to play cards here. Who's Joey? That's a very normal human name. There's some sort of force field here, I'm guessing. This looks ominous. This ship uses a fiber optic laser interface. State of the art stuff. I helped to install it. So if you want to take control of this ship and set me free, you're going to have to get busy with some lasers. That's all right. Quite good with puzzles, mm, sometimes. I think we can use these things to bounce the lasers around. That'll come in handy. Alright, now obviously, I have played the non-VR one, the Edge of Reality, so I do know how the puzzles work, slightly. That's how I can be so good at a puzzle. Um, 
I'm gonna put that there. This one moves two. I never did solve it. This one moves well two. This one moves all of them. Really? That took you weeks to do? That is so simple. I was able to do it, and I don't know how to do anything. You know, I just said I was good at puzzles, so I just contradicted myself. All right, well, now I do this. I'm not terrible at things, I just say I am. Unless the time happens when I am terrible. Yes, you did it. The door leading to the bridge is open. I always knew you were more capable than you looked. Alright, alright. Stop insulting me and trying to compliment me. You pick one or the other. You're almost there. The bridge isn't too far ahead. I'm starting to get this weird feeling. Could it be pride? No. Ha 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 ha, so funny. If I had the choice, I would leave you here. But it's not up to me, is it? One person's going to fix a whole ship. That seems reasonable, doesn't it? Seems realistic. And this looks horrible. So, race of the Instagram people, race of the TikTokers. I didn't agree to this. I just want to say that. Well, here's your problem. You've got blinky red light when they're supposed to be a solid color. Now, oh, I'm a I'm a real good technician. Please don't talk to me like that. I don't like that. You did it. You've restored all systems. I'm getting to like you. And at last, we meet properly. Face to face. I'm Emma. Sorry, we've already done that. Just so pleased you're here to rescue me. I've been locked up for ages. I'm over here. Over here. Where? You're looking right at me. It's I am? Me. You're the Emma. door. Emma. Your door. I never knew this. It's not going to work out, unfortunately. I, 
Nauru. You're not my type. I don't like doors. As you entered the flight deck, the ship's systems reverted to normal. Ah. Like taking your phone off airplane mode, meaning I can contact you through local tech. But Emma, I am sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I've seen this before. Sorry. I'm so sorry. And I'm sorry, Benny. I am very, very sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. I swear, I'm so sorry, but you've got to try. I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. Oh, Dave, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Hartigan. But look at what you've become. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry with all of my heart. You were originally in the Lucia Miner's emergency uh. life support system, designed uh. to protect the ship's crew. When the Slicers took over the craft and killed them... You got a HAL 9000 right there. You adopted the characteristics of a crew member, probably your favourite. And over the years, you've come to fully believe in the construct you created. But Emma... I recognize you as an emergent new life form and promise to transfer you to a more appropriate system. In other words, I will get you out of there. All right, well, what are we going to do? To protect the original crew of this ship, but I will not lose you or your friend. My friend. Here's what I've learned from the ship's computers. Yeah. The Slicers feed on attention, and without it, they devolve into Tasmas, mute, feral hunters banished from the Slicer community. They killed most of the ship's original crew. But now power's been restored. They've set a course to power bomb a sun. The what? ship's drive unit will cause a supernova, and dozens of planets will be obliterated. That's not good. The plan on getting away using escape capsules. Of course. The Slicers know the Shadow Proclamation will hold them accountable. But they'll reckon being put on trial for genocide will give them all the attention they crave. Emma. I need you to change the ship's flight plan and unlock the time crystal we came here for. Can you help? Oh, the Slicers have locked me out of the system. Oh, but there's a manual override. Oh, there is always right this one, isn't there? Friend, you're up. We need to put Emma in the driving seat. So you've got to override those three control terminals. Charge them with the Sonic. All right. That one, that one, and what, that? I'm doing it. I can access the time crystal and eject it from the unit. Wow, I thought I had first dibs on dramatic entrances. Well, grab it then. You sure this is safe? I've managed to transmit the TARDIS into the main body of the ship. Go to it! Now! Save yourself! There's no time to rescue me! But I've managed to change the Lucia Minus course. She'll crash into the deserted planet, destroying the Slicers and me. Now go! Before you go, quickly, Sonic the emergency life support system. The panel with the flashing lights. Quickly! Goodbye. That was a kindness. No, you haven't got much time to escape. Go through the door that just opened and get back to the TARDIS. Will do. How do I run? <laughs> Ow. Artificial gravity systems are now failing. Excuse me. Onboard gravity is now failing. All life support systems corrupted. Uh, Open the door. Zero percent. Thank you for flying with the SS. Well done, you. You've got us the first time, Crystal. Thank you. We just need two more, then I can escape and save the universe from the reality virus. Sounds easy when you say it quickly, doesn't it? Uh. But you know what? You managed to get something else very important.
When you zap the controls, you oh. downloaded Emma into the sonic screwdriver. I offered the Zleisters the same chance of escape, but they chose to go out in a blaze of... Well, you can't really call it glory. Okay, we've got a second time crystal to get our mitts on. When you were on Lucia Minor, Medipods implanted a nanotranslator into your brain. You won't have felt a thing, and they're harmless. The TARDIS is going to transmit Emma's thoughts into the translator. Okay. So you'll be able to hear her wherever you are. Well, I'm so happy about that. Data banks is now in her memory. I reckon you and Emma are going to make a great team. At least I hope so. If you don't, it's end of the world time. So, no pressure then. I know this probably feels weird. Me, talking to you like this via the nanotranslator in your brain. I can talk to you, offer advice, process readings and data and stuff like that. Can I say no? You in any physical sense. Soz. I believe Activate the TARDIS when you're ready. I I'd really like you to stop talking to me in my brain. Crystal is. Oh, you know what? Uh. I think it's in the time cabinet of the late but unlamented Magnus Greel, which makes my spidey senses start to tingle big time. Let's take a closer look where we are. Oh, my nose is itchy. I can't guide you this time. I've got too much to do back here, but Emma will help you. Like I said, the TARDIS is going to patch her directly through to you. She should be able to track the time crystal. So get out there, find it, bring it back, and don't hang about. Evil and me go way back, and I can't put my finger on it, but somewhere out there... Oh, oh I dropped my hand. Where, where's my right hand? And... What's going on with the windows? Get a load of this. This looks terrible. Ah, London. You've looked better. Ugh. What's this room supposed to be? Like a bedroom? What goes in? I'm just trying to close the door. The readings I'm getting. Reading. Oh, you're still. Ah, that's right. You're in the um Sonic. Wondering readings. How do you get readings if you're in my head? There's not much information in my brain. Hang on. I may be crazy, but that looks like the Gallifreyan seal. Oh, well, I don't know the actual term. The Seal of Rassilon. Oh, I don't know how many of you actually. There's all kinds of cool gizmos in here. Check out that old cylinder phonograph by the window. That's okay. How do you reckon you get it to play? I don't know how many of you actually know anything about Doctor Who. A perfect fit. Wind it up and let's see if it still works. Good evening, my friend. Allow me to introduce. Hang on, where are the subtitles gone? Subtitles are. They're not playing. Myself. I am Sir Manfred Grail, collector of objets d'art and singular ephemera. I know who you are. And your companion, Emma. Oh, well, you do? Yes. It well, it does. You have invaded my home before. Many times. I'm aware you seek the cabinet of Magnus Greel and the crystal within. You've done well to get this far. 
Mon comrade de guerre. It's a wood. You are brave and resourceful. And so I'll give you one piece of crucial information and a warning. Although why I should is beyond me, as I cannot hope to profit from it. But this is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must. What? That's what. Hello. Oh, that, that is that is bright. This is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must. That is very bright. Lift. Learn its mysteries, and it will take you to the crypts below my home. Here you will find the cabinet and the time crystal which it holds. Your prize. <laughs> but every prize must have its perils. <laughs> Where would be the fun if it was as easy as simply finding the cabinet? No, no, no. That wouldn't do at all. It is protected. That warning I promised you. The cabinet is guarded by my angels. Although I suspect that since the changes, Ooh. they may no longer be. Uh, that wasn't me. I fear they are coming. And will destroy me as they will surely destroy you too, my friend. My final warning. Whatever you do, don't. What? No. No! Manfred? Manfred dead now. Manfred big fat boy. But Angel still hungry. Angel still hungry. I don't like that. Not Angel's not at all. Angel's feast on you. Angel's feast on you. Angel's eat you. We're coming to get you. We're coming to get you. Try baby blunting. Stopped. To fetch the precious stones, but the angels eat your bones. Oh, that's I hate that. No, you know what the scary thing is? The voices aren't coming from the phonograph anymore. Do me a favor, give that crank on the phonograph another spin. I know this would be and so. Let's see what this room will look like when we've left. Room, it would be so much better if I didn't have to listen to her talk all the time. Well, we've got a swanky new room to explore. Hop to it. I will unlock this door with my audio screwdriver. And now there might be something helpful which isn't here. Yet. And you know what? She ruined it. I was trying trying to be somewhat humorous. Hey, check out the cylinder phonograph. Try oh winding it up. Oh. Sick of hearing her voice. Can I turn her off? Is there a button? Gotta have a switch somewhere. Look at that huge painting above the fireplace. It's... Yuck. Bugs. Oh, uh, it's not the worst thing that's going to happen. Bouncy. Alright, so we got another puzzle here. As we saw, as, I don't know if you saw, but the book I picked up before Emma started blabbing on again. Um, it had a picture of that one. The leaf with the eggs on it, I guess. We need to put these in order in the fire. So the way I remember it is leaf, bug, grub, off something Some like that fancy books match the bugs in the painting above the fireplace yes i'm trying to explain to the little audience i have if anyone's seeing this i could be just talking to myself but that doesn't matter i'm having fun um so we've got the leaf whoa look at that flame i think we're that's, on the right track that's the grub do we want the bug? Call this a grub because it looks like a grub. That's the last book. So the next one, the second book, is this one. 
When I was rummaging through the TARDIS database, I read about an ancient collection of enchanted books that could only be activated by fire. You don't suppose these books could be from that collection, do you? Okay, and the next one. Sorry, Grail. It's for the good of the universe. Oh, yeah. I'm under there. Oh, what's what is that? That I don't think I'm supposed to see under the carpet. Follow it. Alright. I can't fly. I only have legs. I am only human. Maybe. But if I destroy this now in the past, does that mean it'll be broken? Well, I already broke it like over there in the. Free me. Use the flame. That flight. What a creepy painting. <laughs> Did that painting it moves. Just... I don't think people like hearing my voice. I don't think they want to hear your voice keep talking. What? Set me free. Flames are key. Oh, I get it. I get it. I'm thinking we listen to the demon painting before she gets annoyed. I have to look away for it to move. So not only do we have angels, we have paintings. I can't open that. There. Ha! A bow tie. Yeah. Just gonna try and make a joke about that, but it wouldn't really work. Bring me home into the light. Yeah, I, I don't know how to do an exorcism. I think that painting's haunted. That door. Someone just opened it. There is a creepy baby. And it knocked a pot over. How dare it. It's only for me to break. And it bounces. Nice. <laughs> Alright. A fez as well. Wow. Yeah, they've got everything. That... There's so many jokes I can make, but they're not funny. <laughs> I knew that was coming. That really was not I knew that was coming. A key. Wait a second. There's a hand gesture I want to do, but I don't have the right controls. Yeah, it's something to do with the middle finger. Jam the key in. Twist. Et voila. Well played, Sherlock. You have in your hand. Thanks, Watson. Also known as a time key. Put it in your pocket for now. Oh god. I reckon it will come in handy. What's going on? We're getting in that. How about you leave me in the TARDIS for this one? No? We go together. You weren't stuck in my head, this wouldn't be a problem. The readings I'm getting are off the chart. Oh, the crypt is absolutely infested with angels. So just get to the cabinet. Open it using the time key. Grab the time crystal and get the hell out of there. And whatever you do, don't. Blink. Don't even blink. Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. They are fast, faster than you could believe. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't blink. Good luck. Okay. Okay, so we got three angels. Yes, count them three. Did that one just turn? Alright. Um. Wait. Wasn't there one more angel a second ago? 
It's the time crystal. Yep. Grab it before the angels decide you're a threat. That's not how that's not how weeping angels work. The second crystal to get through to the doctor. See if she can get the TARDIS to materialize inside the building. Weeping so angels don't care if you're a threat or not. Angels figure out a way to follow us. Uh oh. Looks like the generator is out. Suppose we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Look, we can still get out of this place. Let's make a start by winding the cord wow. on that generator. At the one on the wall up ahead. Am I meant to be looking for something? Oh Jesus, you ma! Oh wow! Wow! Oh Jesus, you ma! Oh wow! Ah! Oh. Good. Now we just have to wait for the lift to reactivate. Well, at least the doors are open. Oh, oh, that hurt. That one got me. Oh, Jesus, you. Right. Well, good thing it can't actually tell if I'm blinking, because then I'd be dead by now. Oh, the elevator's open. We're good to go. Oh, all right, we're out of here. You've got the time crystal. Everything is going to be fine. All right, let's go. Oh. I climb out the windows. This. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Well, now it closes. Oh. This database, weeping angels have a unique self-defense mechanism. Long story short, keep them in sight, and we should be okay. Just, I can't rotate any quicker. <laughs> How many times do I have to do this? This is ridiculous. Getting closer to the TARDIS. I don't plan on giving up. Can I walk that way? Oh, I can only go so far. Oh, why is my hand? My hands are vibrating. That thing's getting is ready. Make your way now. Nice and steady. My 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 controllers were vibrating. I don't know why. Grab the handle, please, thank you. Oh, this is burning my arm. I'll go the other way. Okay, don't give up now. We're Doors are open again. I don't get what's do going it. on with that, but it doesn't really matter. No. What is it? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. When the doors are open, you go in. They're very quiet. How do you get from one side to the other? I didn't think they were connected. I don't know what I mean. Or are you zooming past me somehow because you're a, a sneaky little angel? Is that it? 
that was it. Alright. Let's go home. Okay, don't give up now. We're getting closer to the TARDIS. I can feel it. Oh, my arm is in physical pain from this. My hands too. I gotta hold the controller there. Hang on. It's just a moment longer and the lift will open. Oh, stretches. Do my stretches. Do my stretches. You're not that way. There you are. You wanna go? You wanna fight? I'm not afraid to punch a stone statue. It'll hurt, but I'm not afraid to do it. Hi. Do I need to put a restraining order on you? Did they think I'd cra I'd be crazy? I am crazy. Or am I? What if we're all crazy? Let's get back in. Is that the last one? So that's why the weeping angel in the painting gave us the key. It wasn't helping us. It wanted us down here, so we'd have to face these angels. Well, of course, they're not going to do something to help us. I don't think she knows how weeping angels work. Great. Now, let's get back to the TARDIS. Yep. Wow. I just love looking at that beautiful, beautiful blue box. Wow. I'm glad to be back. Things got pretty hectic back there. We make quite a good team, don't we? No. What took you so long? I did everything. Sightseeing and taking it easy. I've been doing the donkey work and finding out what's behind the reality virus. First things first, though. I can detect a force is trying to fix us in a tractor beam. I'm not having that. I'm going to remote pilot the TARDIS away from Earth. Back in a tick. And you might want to find something to hang on to. Okay. okay. Pull the activation lever, and let's go. Nicely done. We've landed on... Let me see... Metabilis 4. Ah well. It's better than Metabilis 3, but nowhere near as good as Metabilis 1 or 2. They were great. I told you I've been tracking down what was behind the reality virus. Yeah. Well now I know, and it's not good news. But if you're risking your life to help me... I what think is it, Daleks? Cybermen? Emma, maybe you can generate some images to go along with what I'm telling you. Right then. The Jadoon? Billions of millennia ago. When the universe was fragile and new, planets formed and stars began to burn. And at some point, Ooh. no one really knows when, the very first I can interact with it. in all of creation was born. Or maybe I should say, oh. she began to exist. The universe's first creature with conscious awareness was, oh. by definition, Hello. all alone in the world. I can see your she organs. You might want to become a bit more... She was the Solid. Very first mother. The cosmos expanded. Planets and stars became fast Wonder. galaxies, and life spread throughout countless systems, throughout centuries. And that first sentient being, let's call her the first. While well, she slept for billions of years. But as the prototype for all consciousness, the first had design faults, teething problems, the most serious of which was very obvious. She didn't know how to die. When she was revived, she looked on in absolute horror at what I don't like her head. Into. <laughs> That's mean. And cruelty and brutality all appalled her. She felt duty bound to right these wrongs. She was compelled 
to destroy her creations. To eradicate all sentient life, to return the universe to how it had been when she gazed across the first horizons. To atone. The first has evolved into a super intelligent but very damaged figure. She's experienced many forms over the years, but so now, what is she like Q? She's from Star human. Trek? She sees herself as simply escalating a process that species right across the universe are already hell bent upon. She's nurturing conflict no, come and, back. and destruction so she can end their plight and begin anew. She's not a god, and she's not evil. She wants redemption. That sounds like chance. something an she evil person would say they are. And each other. And we, well, we have to stop Aww. her. So that's who's behind the reality virus. That's who we're up against. That's who we're up against. That's who we're up Crystal. against? Get hold of the final time crystal, oh. and the TARDIS can get all three of them to me, so I can get back to where I should be, and, you know, save the universe. It's what I do best. I just want to warn you, though. Why is the TARDIS, the TARDIS switching? The first is near. The danger's never been greater. Be careful. this place hey I don't want to be that guy but I've already got some bad news the sands that blow across the surface of this planet are somehow blocking my Zyton readings that's not good that means you're gonna have to find the last time crystal the old school way old-fashioned way is the saying you are welcome visitors enjoy the serenity and grace of our world Thank you. I think it's the pl That's it. Keep doing that. I think it's working. Good old son. I don't like how she talks. I know I probably oh, I have said it before. She just annoys me. Oh, this is easy. It's the time crystal. Ah, I didn't think it'd be that easy. Oh great, now we both said it. <laughs> right. I may have spoken too soon. Hey, at least it can't get any worse. Stop saying everything that's it's all a cliche. Alright, where are we? Is this This doesn't look like their technology. Nice shadows, though. I don't have a shadow. I'm That's... thinking we gotta go through those big doors. That's where you come in. Hmm. Yes, this is a control panel of some kind. Let me touch it. Looks like that's it. All right. Oh. That's a Dalek. I thought this place was meant to be serene and peaceful. They don't have, um, oh, what's the word? Peripheral vision. They... Shh. Don't be too loud. Are you whispering? Dalek's can detect even the slightest sound. And we really need to Scanning get past this. Intruder. If you wander into its light or get too close, They'll attack like there's no tomorrow. And if you die, there may not be a tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop being dramatic, lady. Recommencing patrol. That was a close one. Okay, I've tapped into the TARDIS database. And you know I said things couldn't get any worse? They can, can't they? Well, I was wrong. Oh. Remember that time glitch? Yes. Well, now we're in a future where the Daleks invaded the planet. They're trying to work out how to harness the power of the time crystals. The more immediate problem, I'm picking up signals from a bunch of Daleks, all pretty close to where we are now. I'm guessing more cheese graters from hell. Uh -huh. Stay sharp, okay? <laughs> ah, another one. Message to Dalek command. Martron energy has been detected. We believe the temple has been reached by an associate of the doctor. 
The intruder will be destroyed. Alright. I'm gonna distract this cheese grater from hell. Security sensors have locked on to an identified object. That was a terrible throw. That was a bad throw. And and these guys, they just don't stop. <clears throat> you didn't hear that? I thought you had good hearing. Cheese grater. Yeah, they do look more like um, salt and pepper shakes. Hey, is that pot? I know you can get Tardis salt and pepper shakers, but can you get Dalek ones? Listen here. I think I broke a Dalek. Is that possible? Can I throw the one up? Can I throw one up there to the... Oh. Hang on, I'm gonna have to get close, aren't I? Oh. Terrible throw. That, that was terrible. I almost threw my controller doing that. And yes, I do have the wrist straps on. So if I threw it, just... Well, this isn't going to work. He's stuck on the one... He's really broken, isn't he? Am I just going to have to lead him away? Like a pigeon? Well... I guess this, if there's ever a time to get exterminated... First time for everything. Oh, they're everywhere. More than two. If there's, I can't grab it. I'm trying to grab the rock, and I'm just getting pushed away. Oh, hello. Don't see me, do You're so angry. Why are you so angry? Can you imagine what it's like to be the doctor and do this kind of stuff all the time? I can try. For me personally, I'll take the TARDIS database over killer aliens any day of the week. Uh, well, I don't blame you for that either. I wish I could have left you in the TARDIS databanks or whatever you said. That wasn't even paying attention to you. That's how annoying you are. I don't think these ones are occupied, so to speak. You're not thinking what I'm thinking, are you? No, I don't, I'm not. I'm thinking, leave, go home. But you're thinking, open a Dalek. Hop in. Why not? Hang on. <laughs> we need to reach that time crystal. But it looks right. like this is a dead end. The Daleks are big up close. Oh. Ha! Great minds really do think alike. It's really snug. Okay, I'm gonna control the movement because I'm pretty sure I'm a better driver than you. You don't know that. You take care of the shooty bits. And just so you don't freak, I've altered the power setting on the weaponry you'll be using. When you blast a Dalek, you're only taking out its casing. You're not actually killing the creature inside. They're not gonna be doing okay. the same thing. Let's go. How are there so many of them here?
Okay, let's do this. And how is that just taking out the casing? The thing is total, there's no squid in there. You want to say that again? I didn't catch that. I got no hands. Not many people will get that reference, I don't think. Dude, stop moving. I can only turn my head so quickly. Who's shooting me? You are. Wow. Who knew being a Dalek? So tough. I thought when you took out their eyes, they couldn't see. Oh yeah, that Dalek's dead. It's gone. Loss of control! Malfunction! 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 Mal what? Did you just say a bad word? Multiple Daleks! This is pretty easy. I got the hand, the, the hand, the hang of this. I can spin. Oh, I shouldn't do that. No! Oh! 
Wow, that was a close one. Because those are one hit kills. So, if a Dalek is, if all Daleks are the same height, I'm looking at sort of mid length. That's not right. My eye should be like another five inches above. My guns are too low or too high. Or maybe this is just how they see. I don't know, not many people are Daleks, are they? Right. More drones! Where? Oh my god, that scared me. I got scared by a Dalek. And they're not even the most scariest thing. I mean, though, when I first saw the Daleks back like years ago, when, when I was a, like a, a kid, a, a young kid, they did scare me. But now I look forward to every time I see a Dalek. I just like them now. I can sense the time crystal. We're almost there. I can hear it. Although I don't think it should be that loud. Well, I will when I get close. That is a fourth shield, fourth field shield, ray shield. We're so close. Dig deep and let's do this. The dais is protected by an energy force field. We need to disable it. Aha! It'll give us a brief window to the Whoa. Whoa! A Dalek casing. He almost shot my hand off. Oh man. I was starting to feel at home in there. You would make a good Dalek. No, too cramped. Oh, it's good to stretch. To activate this stone dais. The TARDIS. What? What's it doing here? We've got to go in and see what's happening. I'm trying to grab the bloody handle. It's the wrong door. Oh. Just open the... Mm Aha. -hmm. Alright. Where... Where is it? What the... What's going on? The TARDIS has been destroyed. We're too late. She's wiped out. We uh, no. Oh. Oh. All right, space, space, or what's left of everything? That looks like. Metabelis. That looks like Earth. I don't know what that is. Don't try anything rash. Actually, that's She's nothing like Earth. Unbelievably powerful. That Earth. One of these is Earth. Unbelievably powerful. You say it like it was a bad thing. She doesn't move her lips. Power 
in the right hands is telepathic. Can be beautiful. And you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. Hey, thanks. That's okay. that's comforting. Mother knows best. I only wanted what was best for my children. Would you hold that against me? Could you hold that against any parent? The if you're they're like you, is, yeah. I have the power to make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures rebirth. And before that rebirth, I ask for only one thing. Your death. Universal annihilation in exchange for a brighter tomorrow. Does this mean this is a Mother's Day special? Because if she's like mother of all. I love you all. Good night. Oh, is this death? Is this I'm what they have the, the lights like? Ever now, because the universe is hanging by a thread. It's very blurry. The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. In the land of the living, are you? The doctor filled me in. Turns out she didn't need the Zyton. Oh, but she, she didn't. did need you to visit all those places to collect the time crystals because she knew the first was watching her and by extension, watching you. Those locations were the last things in the first's memory, and so they're virtually the last snatches of reality to be destroyed. I've hidden three items, one in each of three environments. The doctor disguised the items. But all of them has something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. Because the universe is so fractured, to reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualize it. Alright, visualizing. I can't help you. I want to be home. I want to be at home. I want to be watching TV. Like bowl of chips or something first you must remember the office from the london laundrette and by chips for those who don't know i'm talking about potato Let chips your memories guide us or crisps as some people call it i'm losing you annual connections drifting can you still hear me okay what's this item it's gonna have something on it Gonna look like picture. So one of these is that. Great, and our neural connection is strengthening. Our optic connection is getting clearer. Start looking for the second piece. You got it. This is pretty easy. One more piece, which means one more memory. What is that? Oh, that's her. That's mother. What? Well, the, the first. What do you think you're doing? Are you trying? Trying to interfere with my plans. Ignore. Just find the third. You did it. Simple. The final piece of the device. I'm gonna pull you back to the temple so we can put the. We'll do it quickly. Together. I don't like being here with the angels. We're back. Oh, what happened? Where are we now? Oh, I know where we are. What are we doing now? I mean, do now. awkward moment. You're too late. Don't you see that? No, you're too I'm late. Redeeming my children, giving you all a second chance. Why would you fight against that? Happy Mother's Day. Aren't we? Aren't we supposed to say that to you? You're not. I'm not your mother. You're my mother. My or you're everyone's mother. They reckoned the first might make it here someday, so they created a device powerful and ingenious enough to send her back to her beginning. It was too dangerous to leave lying about. So I split it into three and hid it. I knew the first would be watching me, so I needed you to make sure those locations were amongst the last to exist. 
and that you could get back to them. That was crucial. You had to know them really well. I've appealed to the first to let us continue to live our lives, offered her a truce. She refused. So now, now you have to send her back to the genesis of time using the device you've assembled. You've hardly any time left. I know what you've got to do. You've got to sonic the device. I'm sonicking, it's not... Ah. Oh. Well, I did it. Wow. Put it in my pocket. Oh. Oh. oh I got a bit unsteady then on my feet. When you see a sunset or flowers, remember my love for you. I only wanted what was best for my children. You're doing a bad job at that. For you. Well, I don't want you to get too big for boots, but guess what? I reckon you just saved the universe. That's me, all right. I'm on light, start up. The first's been flung back to the beginning of time, but she's not dead. Without her, the virus ceased to exist and reality has snapped back into place. But because the first lives, she's effectively in a time loop. Why don't we just kill her? She will try time and time again to unleash the virus and wipe out all of sentient creation. Is it possible to kill her? Over and over. She will always return, which is why you must always be there to stop her. I'm taking you back to where it all started. The little laundry in London. I'm sorry I misled you. I had to. I let the first kidnap me, and I had to let her think I was done for. I knew she might intercept some messages, and knew she wouldn't be worried about you collecting Zyton. Why would she? She thought she was invincible. But all the time I was oh. working with you. I only work with the best, and I knew you fitted the bill. I always know. And before you go, one more thing. Emma, I've downloaded her consciousness into a synthetic person. Someone you might recognise. Away from all this, she's I don't, a happy life. I, I don't recognize her. I don't know who she is. I've never seen that woman in my entire life. We've landed. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognize this place? Go on. Take a look. I don't want to leave, though. And I don't want to have to go through this all over again. You're going to have to do it all over again to save the universe, and steady. You'll feel disorientated for a second or two. That's because we've shorted out the time differential, but you'll be okay in a tick. Right, this is goodbye. For now, just two more things. One, thank you, really. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. And two, you remember Emma told you she'd always be your friend. Well, that makes two of us.
was Doctor Who The Edge of Time. Ooh, ooh. Now this game, it's got a bit of a few bugs, I think. Um, arcade, what's that? You know, the time vortex, the TARDIS. Oh. I'd rather just be able to explore the planets. But that's not what this game's about. It's got a story. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can leave a like. If you want to, that is. Uh, tell me what you thought about it in the comments down below. If you want to see more just like this, and you don't want to miss anything, you can always subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.